Okay, I need to repeat the question. If any project I had to give up now, and 40 or 50 years, we realized 22 projects and we failed to get permission for 37. <laughs> and of course, some projects we have a refusal, like the rice tech, but we like to do it. We have three refusals, but we still tenaciously try to do it. The pond of also the gates. In some project uh, we have refusal, we don't like to do it. But still, another very funny story for the project, uh, I will tell you. In 1975, uh, we tried to do a large project involving the wrapping of the monument of Christophe Columbus in Barcelona, which is the tallest monument, 220 feet tall, 1975. Uh, we were working in the Pont Neuf, we were just were f almost finishing the running fence, and we started negotiating the permission with the mayor of Barcelona. After two years, uh, he said no, and he was assassinated, but not by us. <laughs> uh, two years later, we, there was a new mayor of Barcelona. We tried to negotiate it with him. He said no, and he also was assassinated, but not by <laughs> In 1984, when we were just working in the last steps of the Pont Neuf project, we received a letter from the Pascual de Maragai, the famous mayor of Barcelona who brought the Olympic Games in Barcelona, telling us, please come. We like to interrupt the monument of Christopher Lord. Jean claude myself, we don't like to do it anymore. It's our money, and we do, if you like to do it, this is not, this is our decision. Each our project has his own inspiration, and they are absolutely not related to each other. They are very whimsical, unpredictable, and probably because we talk for over the river, I say the inspiration, how over the river, the river come. But of course, it's very important to know that all our projects, they happen in a rural and urban space, but always space when the humans use, not for the philo only philosophical idea, but also for the scale. You know, we never do the things in the desert. We need to always have the man-made structure to relate how the project is wide, tall, and big. You need to have a road, telephone poles, house, the, to relate the scale, if you know, they have no any idea what is the project side because all this project is done exactly in that way. Now, there are two ways. We, uh, they are, we, know what, we know where is the site, like the Central Park, and Central Park was designed for Central Park, the gates. The, uh, the rice tech was this, uh, the project it was designed for the rice tech, but we have sometimes idea, like the valley curtain or running fence or the umbrella, and we need to find site for the, 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 that project. And we scout, we scout uh, and each project for some reason we need to find it. For example, obviously for over the river, because that project involved that inner space, we need to find a river who is widely used by recreation activity like rafting and that will allow us to, to see the project from underneath. This is why in the very end we use, uh, we find the river who is most raft very gentle rafting. Actually, you can hire um, uh, rafters to take you down like a taxi. You don't need, it's not like Colorado River. If you're familiar with rafting, it's category two. Colorado River, category five or six. Uh, and of course, it was very, this one at the very end, with, with the Arkansas River was most perfect for our project. You have the road, you have a railroad track, you have a town and villages, everything ideal for our project. But the, the uh, genesis of each project is different. Now, the genesis of over the river coming back from 1985. Now, we were wrapping the Pont Neuf, and the Pont Neuf was wrapped everything. The tower, the frontal part, the sidewalk, but also we wrapped the vault. The vault, this is huge, there are 12 arches, there are great vaults, they're all different, and very intricate, our engineers need to design the fabric that the fabric should be cover, cover the stones of the, the, uh, the, the, the bridge. And that was done by fabricating this pattern, very long, very complex pattern, and uh, the fabric was positioned laying in the, in the very uh, the long barge and anchored inside the vault and the river sand. And of course, we have a fabulous, famous rock climbers from the Chamonix, the French Alps, who was actually doing the wrapping of that area, and they was have this pulley system, they were lifting the fabric up and up and up. 
Jean-Claude and myself, we were in the barge and looking at fabric mid-air floating over the river Seine. And that image stayed in our mind. And only seven years later, in 1992, it came over the river. But that is the story of that project. The story of the gates is different. The story of the umbrella is different. And each project, you know, but the important part is that this project there like expedition. In 1992, I will show the little drawings of over the river. We have a slightest idea where we're heading. But tell you, because this is where I'm up to here with working. You know, the important thing is that the, I was saying to some friends here that I was not familiar that the 20% of the surface of the United States is owned by the United States federal government, American taxpayer. And they have this great uh, ministry, Department of Interior, who take care about that land. The, and of course, the Bureau of Land Management also lease the land uh, to corporation, to mining company, to oil company, to ranchers, to very thing, things. And up to the 69, curiously enough, there was no regulation how that land should be leased. And curiously enough, conservative president, Nixon, uh, signed the law who is called the NEPA, National Environmental Policy Act. And NEPA uh, law is, I uh, have a big book there, is, uh, uh, is make regulation that every entity who try to borrow rent, uh, use the federal land, they should be scrutinized, and of course, little scrutinizing and big scrutinizing. And of course, the most biggest is called environmental impact statement. There are no environmental impact statement is to building airports, to building highway, miles and miles highway, to building bridges or dam. And of course, it's that booklet for environmental impact statement is very complex, but never mentioned about art. And of course, the first time in the history of NEPA, uh, work of art have environmental impact statement. And it's a very complex study that this is how we were obliged. We were obliged to prepare that document. That document is submitted to the federal government. You should know that no tax money is spent on that project. We pay everything, including when they call us, uh, federal uh, officers, they call us like a lawyers. They charge us. We, we talk to them and they, they pay. And when the project was uh, when we started uh, preparing that environmental impact statement, who will be final decision, I will come to that will be very soon. There was so much work that the federal government was obliged to hire, on our expense, and other people working to preparing that study. Now, environmental impact statement addressed 100 things, many, many things, and they, there, was, there was the draft. They, the federal government hired a company who reviewed our application, we cannot talk to that company, only pay the bills. That company released the draft. Now that company finalized, and the final uh, uh, book of environmental impact statement will be released in April, and federal government will make a, a road, a record of decision in May. And of course, all our energy now, through all these months before, after, was very complicated. Let me give us a story. It's not simple, it's not secret, it's the federal land, and we need to have absolutely support of the congressional delegation of Colorado. Before Jean-Claude passed away, we go, and actually a few months before she passed away, we were in, uh, in Washington, and we need to have the support of the two senators of the state of Colorado and five congressmen of the state of Colorado, Republicans and Democrats, and they all wrote letter to the president, uh, the secretary of interior, supporting the project. Mr. Obama never arrived on that. Republicans, Democrats, they all signed supporting the project. It's extremely important that the people who they elected support the project in the federal government. And all that work is right now. Now we're in the last stage when we need to keep all that uh, energy, excitement. There are some changes. There was just election. <laughs> and we need to go again in January in Washington, working with all uh, lobbyists to cement that support and get our permission in May next year. Now, the project is slated for two weeks ex exhibition in August. So we come two weeks in August by consensus between many people living there, many activity, and if everything goes well, 
if we get the permission in the summer of this year, yeah, everything goes well. The earliest the project can be realized will be in August of 2014. With the, if, I hope you understand, all this project, this season project, the Gates project was winter project, that is the summer project, the surrounded island was the spring project before the hurricane in Miami, and of course, we cannot do it later or earlier. We can, if one summer is, cannot match it, we go to the next summer. I, I, I give that. I met Albert and David Mezels in 1961 in Paris, and, and they became like a family, like my brothers, and we lived together nonstop all the time. David passed away in 1987. I was alone, and I will have a difficult time, was alone to finish the Umbrellas film. But of course, uh, I'll find Antonio Ferrara, who is somewhere here, uh, very young, uh, Italian movie maker, American, but Italian born, American movie maker, who became very close with Al many years before. And Al and Antonio Ferrara, they finished the Gates film, who was filmed by David and Al from 79. And you know, the film has about 600 hours material so from 79 to today. And Antonio Ferrara now filming the Over the River project. Ah, oh, they, they know they know recipe. We say, very, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. you know, we have a we have a ferocious opposition right now in Colorado. I cannot deal with it. We don't have agreement so easily. No, they, 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 it's very difficult. But I, I probably I try to think. Probably the most con, uh, concentrated was the in the Reichstag. You know, the Reichstag, uh, Reichstag was owned by the German nation. Uh, we cannot talk to 80 million Germans. But fortunately, 18 million generals are represented by 660 deputies in the parliament, and we can talk to them. And I remember this between 92 and 94, in the morning we were arriving, and our project director was preparing meetings, and we have a meeting with deputy. We sometimes have 15 minutes or half an hour or a little more. And there was three things I need to tell him in these little moments that we believe that our project is visually very exciting, beautiful, very invigorating. I, I have shown the drawings, but drawings not enough. We show him photographs of previous projects, and we're very good. Second, that we pay with our money. There will be no tax, no industry, no anything. It will be our money. And the third is that all this good industrial material will be recycled. This is the all three main objectives we say. But sometimes the deputy tells, OK, I will vote for you, but it should come to my constituency talk to my people who elect him to explain why I should vote for you. And of course, we spend hours and hours, days and days, talking to school children, to the uh, town hall meetings. We have a great translators explaining why they should let us do the rice stack. And, and this is the no, there are no other recipe. This is the only way. You know, I love the real thing. I love the real wind, I love the real wet, the sun, the dry, one kilometer, 100 meters, I love that. And nobody can substitute that. And of course, if you don't experience that, there's no way to experience that. And of course, this whole project, they deal with the real things. But important part is that the project has two phases, software period and hardware period. The software period, when the project exists only in my drawings and the sketches, in the mind of 1,000 people who try to stop us, in the mind of 1,000 <laughs> people who try to help us. And that is the most complicated, because then it's very difficult to find the right thing. And after the hardware period, when we really experience the physicality of the work, like the one kilometer, the wind, the sun, everything together, the real proportion, everything. And they work together. They cannot be separated. But important things to understand that every artist who do the art is interested that his work is discussed. Then they've they never been discussing or criticizing the painting of one painter before the painting is painted. <laughs> never been discussed the, the criticizing the sculpture, one sculpture before the sculpture is sculpted. But everybody discussing our project before physically they exist. <laughs> Bad or good, they're all highly criticized. And this is the biggest gratification we have. You understand?
for years and years, sometimes millions of people discussing something do not exist. <laughs> and of course, that is the, the energy of this project. But this is why we not do commission. This is why we do not. We need, because the project developed his identity to the permitting process. The permitting process is so complex, unpredictable. And of course, the, again, and now one of the best case is the permitting process of the Reichstag. You know, the Reichstag was the building owned by the German nation, but there was the president of the parliament, or speaker of the house, who is the landowner and can sign the agreement, law the Rapp Reichstag. But the prime minister of Germany was hating our project. He was very famous prime minister of Germany, Helmut Kohl. He did not like the project. He did everything possible to stop the project. And Mr. Kohl insisted that the decision of the permission of the wrapping of the Reichstag will be happen in the full debate in the parliament, 70 minutes, televised to 200 million people, the European Union, and we defeated the prime minister. And of course, all that make by, without knowing, call make the project 100 times more important by simply escalating the permitting process and the full debate in the parliament. But we will never be aware about that. And we was not aware also about the National Environmental Policy Act, who that law, all this activity, make our project so much more involved, engaging so many people. And this is the main reason, the most principal reason, why we initiating our project and we cannot do anything who people propose to us. You know, for example, when we did the gates, there was a, so many mayor of towns around the world with parks, bring your gates in my park, bring me gates in other park. This is stupid. The project is not, <laughs> the project is not one gate. The project is not 2,000 gates. It's 7,503 gates and 23 miles in Central Park with the skyline, with the everything. This is the project. The project not one gate is not the project. This is why uh, I remember people try to buy uh, 20 gates for $20 million. We tell, no, this cannot buy the gates to install it in your park. They're all, all recycled industrially. No sketch of mine can match the real things. <laughs> No, you see to understand, all these projects, they're like living objects. I show you the still photograph, but they're not like that. They're total motion all the time. They're moving with the wind all the time. They're totally motion. And in and, uh, and some way, it's very gratifying that often the drawings and the sculptures, they're better than the sculpture, but my drawings never can match the, the, the magic of this project. They're so incredibly uh, impossible to reander or virtually to anticipated the richness of this project. But, 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 but you know, the, the, each project, uh, how put it, uh, the, you can see their form, formal development that, for example, the Reichstag, the Pondorf, and also the uh, Rapkos there, and the period of uh, steel and material I did in the late 60s, early 70s, where that inner space we have in the gates we have it also in, over, in the umbrellas, you know, go inside the umbrella, umbrella there above that, and inner space also have an over the river, that inner space that you can see the project is not anymore that form. And of course, each project, uh, they, they are mixed, and they are, uh, you can see that the module exist, exists in the, in the running fence, and that module is repeated 2,000 times, and the module of the gates is repeated 7,000 times. But they, but they are all designed in their own way, in their own uh, 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 history. The gates they have another history, and the umbrella have another history. Oh, uh, uh, there are many critical attitudes and many criticisms. And of course, one of the criticism, the biggest problem in our development project is the traffic. You know, I cannot not say that there will be more people, and that is the. Uh, this is the, the, the too old project. Even for the gates, the, city, the old refusal was that too many people we come to Central Park, too many people we come. And we try to alleviate it. It's called mitigation. And of course, our organization, the federal government, we try to find solution to create so many mitigation. I'll give you an example. The Highway 50, which is the south bank of the river, certainly going to the east coast, to the west coast, uh, uh, 
is very busy, and with the exhibition of the product, we were busy, and they say, and at this 14 days, suddenly will be immovable traffic. There were people watching and cannot move, and if it's an um, ambulance, some critical th uh, things that they cannot travel, what you will do? Okay, on our expense, we have four helicopters down by in the valley flying sick people with helicopters. Uh, they, they say, our, the fire department, they say, we have a very old fire engine. Okay, we buy a new fire engine, you remember, <laughs> there in the memory of the project. We do all kinds of mitigation. We say, for example, that the, uh, the, we, it's, it's possible that they're already planning to that, that the people will leave their cars and big parking area in the entrance of the project. We have uh, these uh, big buses, see the project from above. We take you one and a half hours to see the project from above on these 42 miles. And after that, you take the raft, the rafting for four and a half hours, beautiful rafting, and recuperating your car, going to the other side. And of course, because it's so rafted, the state of Colorado created a lot of parking area for the rafters. You can have a picnic and stop, it continues. It's very leisurely, starting at nine o'clock in the morning, and by one o'clock, 1.30, will be in the eastern entrance of the project. And there are many these type of things we're working now to, to create all kind of mitigation to alleviate it. In a, for example, also we need to install 9,000 anchors. We promise that we will not work on the road side, but we work on the north side of the river when the um, railroad tracks during the summertime that the summer touristic traffic will be free only to the early spring and late uh, autumn we will work in the, in the side of the highway. And also, the project will take a little longer time because it's the high mountains. You know, the east entrance of the project is 5,800 feet altitude, and the west entrance of the project is over 2, 000, uh, 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 7,500 feet altitude. And of course, we can have a snow, and we cannot work during the winter time. This is why uh, this timing involving in construction. Now, the, the first thing, the color, uh, the color material is the last things. And you see very well that for all our projects, for the gates, for the umbrellas, we do this life size test. And all the, fa the fabric we use is the industrial textile. We cannot use natural textile because it's too weak. When you have the floods on Mississippi River and here they have these sandbags, they're not done in cotton and linen, they're done in the artificial fiber. And for all our outdoor projects, we use artificial fiber there, all petrochemical products, nylon, polypropylene, dacron, a variety of material, and is industrial textile, textile, tremendously used for construction, agricultural, and environmental purposes. And we use that textile. And each time we need to change a little bit to improve the, the things we like to, like in the case of surrounded island, we need to have a fabric who float, they will need to be improved a little bit, but all is fabricated. One, first one is the find the material, decide the material, and fabricate the, the things. And I remember the most difficult part of fabrication of cloth was the, once we have the fabric, is to, to sewing this huge fabric, who was a huge area of 600 feet by, I don't know, a huge amount of, and there was no sewing factory, there was no anything, and we rented the blimp hangar, uh, Opalaka, in Florida, and Miami, and, and we built railroad tracks. And actually, our sewing machine was on railroad tracks, and the fabric was not moving, the machine was moving, uh, and, and because there were so long seams. And, and, but we need to find, it's not difficult, we need to find a solution. Now, the, also the materials, the steel, the aluminum, we, we always try to shop around to be near the side because the most expensive part is transportation, but sometimes we're obliged to fabricate the things outside of the United States. So the, since the surrounded island, all the fabric of our project is fabricated in Germany because it's too small order for the big American company to be involved with so much little things, and all the fabric is fabricated in Germany. Even that um, Germany is not a petrochemical producer, but they come with better price and better uh, uh, because they're willing to be interested to work with us. Uh, the, yeah, why temporarily restricted? 
But you know, Jean-Claude was always saying that temporary character of our project is the aesthetical decision. You know, for a thousand years, the artists used all kinds of materials, stone, fresco, wood, paintings, and they do all kinds of things in their work, even television sets, everything today. But one thing they never use, this is the tenderness and love we have humans for something we do not last. We have a tenderness and love for our, our childhood because we know it will not last. We have a tenderness and love for our life because it will not last. And we like to donate that like additional quality because the fabric is the principal material to translate, translate this nomadic, fragile quality of the work. And when this project is realized, there, you are aware that is, is once in a lifetime, you never again, you are present actually of something missing. Tomorrow they will be gone. And that created incredible um, desire to be there. It's not something you will see it again. And that uniqueness is probably the, the, the energy of the project. And, and basically, it cannot be bought. And this is another thing. This project cannot be commercialized. It cannot charge tickets. They're, even myself, Jean-Claude, we don't own this project. This is why they should go, because the freedom is enemy of possession. And this is why they should go, because if possession is equal to permanence, no, they should be free forever. But of course, this is, all these projects de de uh, deal with the urban and rural environment all the time, and they're addressing everything. Everything I, I can give you. This project, to get permission, we go through so much study, so much research. I can tell you. For example, in the surrounded island, we have this pink fabric floating on the surface of the water. And you're familiar probably in Biscayne Bay, we have this very fragile sea cow called Manite. And the, uh, the, the opposition was saying, what's the Manite we do? How they survive with a pink fabric? Of course, we don't know how they survive with a pink fabric. And we hired the services, or the government hired the services of the marine biologist and the sea aquarium on Orlando. He put the manite and he put the pink fabric and they were swimming. And of course, it's loosely woven. They push the fabric, they take, take air, oxygen. And after that, he uncovered half of the aquarium. And it's, one of his cover, one was in cover. And the, and the scientist reported in his finding that the that he observed that Manite preferred to stay under the pink fabric <laughs> and they developed mating instinct. <laughs> but all these things we don't know about, but this happened. <laughs> it's uh, activism in my work. Of course it's very active, you know. <laughs> Is, 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 you should understand, this project, they're not because I like the dam. Somebody tell me, what this project? The project inherits everything what is inherent to that, play, that things to become part of the work of art. We don't inherit the politics in the rice tech. was in the rice tech. We, don't in, we, don't, we, we, we do not do politics. The inher politics is in the rice tech. We don't do we don't do ecology. Ecology was in Biscayne Bay. What I like to say that, very important, we do the real things now. Almost all art is illustration. It's about things. My drawings of the, of the, uh, of the rice tag was about the rice tag. The film of the wrapping of the rice tag is about the rice tag. The still photograph of the wrapped rice tag is about the wrapped rice tag. But in 14 days, in 1995, was the rice tag wrap. The real things is not the illustration of things. And today we are walking in gallery and art. This is all illustration. They don't deal with the real things. And our project deal with the real things, the real condition. And of course, this real condition feedback tremendous resources, tremendous power of the project because they are no, they are no illustration. They are real, real things. Well, uh, sometimes yes, sometimes it's difficult. For example, certainly in the Over the River project, the Chamber of Commerce, the people who have restaurants, hotel, they are supporting the project. You know, they think they will make more money. This is common. But we never, it's something 
become part of the, of the activity, but we're not involved with that. If the people like to uh, use the project to, uh, to, 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 to their hotels to be full, they will be full, but this is not something we cannot be re re involved with that. Another well, important thing you to know, all our project there, copyright and trademark, we, no project of ours can be used for any publicity and anything. You know, this is why we have lawyers around the world going to check everything. And of course, we, we, the people, the community, if they like to be uh, involved, if they have an initiative or entrepreneurship, they can do many things around the project. It, uh, is, this is can, community can benefit. But it's not done for that purpose. <laughs>